Thank you. Madam Harms. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, for a while it looked to me as if colleagues were going to be lulled into a sense of just attacking what's happened in Ukraine when it comes to fake news and interference. And it took uh, until 2013, 2014 that it became visible for Europeans that they were also the object of these attacks. And so this first step of recognition is the first step towards dealing with it. So I think the raft of measures that has been decided on and is being adopted is the right approach and really fits in with what's been said. However, I'm still not completely clear whether the magnitude of the attack that Russia has carried out on the stability of the European Union, if that, if that magnitude has been understood. And I think that the monies that have been ascribed to these programs really uh, shows that I think the magnitude has not been understood. Now, perhaps in this context, I could point out that there is a huge problem. If prominent politicians from member states of the European Union are actually being taking part in these Russian campaigns, such as the Rosneft boss Gerhard Schroeder, a former Chancellor of Germany, but Mr. Gusenbauer, Mr. Prodi could also be mentioned. The Manafort papers have uh, given us a degree of insight into what's been going on. And parties are going to have to deal with this if they want to accept the challenge. And I would like to thank Anna Fotiga here, because what we need to do better is to strengthen journalism, to bolster independent media, because you're not going to beat propaganda by using prop propaganda. You have to have quality journalism.